Hello, we're going to draw another bats pieces today when approaching the end of our series in terms of bats, after which we'll be moving on to different sorts of creatures, but bats first and foremost. Today, well this time at least, the, um, the turn goes to so -called, the so-called bent-winged bat, the common one of Europe. Uh, Bent, wings, bent winged bats, sorry, in general are rather, in my uh, opinion, nondescript kinds of bats. Really looking la rather normal, but I'm going to draw this one with a smirk to uh, emphasize the fact that it doesn't care too much about that. Now, seeing this, I think I've, I've inadvertently, inadvertently drawn the um, so-called and despised, I think, DreamWorks face, the one um, DreamWorks uh, gave their characters quite an awful lot, I'm afraid so, sorry, accidental. Now, these bats have fairly normal looking faces and rather short, small ears compared to many other bat species. The most remarkable thing is not in the face, but like the name uh, of the group uh, as a whole says, in the wing, which is so-called bent winged in the sense that they can fold their fingers up even more than other bats can, resulting in them being particularly maneuverable in the air and mostly, most importantly, being able to cover large distances in rather short um, amounts of time because these guys are pretty fast as bats go. Now, let's make very clear that this guy has got very, very thin legs with dainty feet. So here we go. Now, in this species, it's uh, pretty obvious that the um, that the um, Toe here is part of the um, membrane, or at least it helps support the membrane. They've also got long tails, as we can see here. Um, the membrane in general is pretty big. So let's emphasize that a bit more here. I'm going to fold this a bit because I'm going to draw this guy, at least I'm going to try to do so, in a rather maneuverable fashion fitting its uh, anatomy, I guess. So here we go. Now let's draw, oh careful, let's draw its first wing. I'm going to show you the bent wing. But keep in mind the membrane extends above the um, upper arm in not just this bat but many of them. The, lower arm is very thin. Now these guys are called long-winged bats in um, several languages, fittingly I'd say, because well they are rather long-winged. Okay, so let's draw its wing folded here. Go at least folded a bit. Never forget that you are also drawing um, fingers while drawing a bat wings and um, the supporting membranes. Now, the fold should be here, parallel to the arm, so that's where you should draw these folds. In general, here we go, a bit of shade. And I'm going to draw the other wing rather stretched out, so this guy is working its wings rather hard. Disclaimer, once again, I've, uh, I've stopped pretending that I am drawing to scale because of well, the size of these bats compared to the other ones I've drawn well, is off to say the least. Here we go. Actually, I should draw that a bit longer because, well, otherwise it wouldn't have room for its fingers. I'm going to draw this one folded up a bit. So it's doing its very best to 
move its membrane in weird ways and I am actually hoping that this is anatomically correct and possible because I'm not entirely sure myself and here we go here we go we've drawn our bent winged bat 